What's going on you guys? It is currently 11.58 and this is why I'm actually talking quieter. I just want to let you guys know because I am a huge procrastinator. I wait till midnight to film a video and that is why in this video I am talking a little bit quieter because I don't want my neighbors thinking I'm crazy. But I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's jump right into it. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I just wanted to kind of go over some of the stuff that's happening as you guys know about the whole coronavirus and everyone going crazy i just wanted to jump on here and announce that i will be stopping my twitch stream until all of the whole virus and everything kind of gets worked out i know it's a lot of big stuff going on a lot of people are going and buying all the food all the toilet paper all the guns and ammo and all that stuff so it's just been super crazy out there but I did want to announce that I will be stopping my Twitch stream until everything is all figured out and I have high hopes that it will pretty soon. So that's big news for me going on in my life right now. I just wanted to jump in here and thank all of the new subscribers for all of you guys. The subscribers on the channel, welcome to the channel. I really hope you guys appreciate what I'm putting out so far. It's always kind of changing. We're kind of transitioning over into the diesel technician, um, day in the life of diesel tech, and just some sort of mechanic stuff, working on semi trucks, freight liners, things like that. Whatever you guys are kind of looking for, we're going to try to transition over to that a little bit and just kind of dip our toes in the water. But I did want to start out by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who have clicked on that button. I really appreciate it, you guys. Hope you guys are liking what I'm putting out so far. And it's just been crazy lately. I mean, I've been trying to work as much as humanly possible. And that's part of the reason why I'm slowing down on the Twitch streams and not doing them for a little bit. is just so I can focus strictly on work. Making as much money as possible. Keeping these trucks on the road to keep getting groceries delivered to you guys and things like that. So the more I can work, the more we're keeping these semis on the road that's delivering products to all of me. You guys, your families, everything like that. So that's some big news going on in my life. Um, we have a repair that we did, a cab light on a Freightliner M2106 that I'm going to be showing you guys here at the end of my talking. And that's going to be pretty cool. So we'll kind of go over just really quickly how we did that and all of that stuff. But I really appreciate all you guys. Thank you all so much for all the support throughout all of this. I am going to start posting more videos on YouTube, even if we're just doing quarantine talks or anything like that. I'm going to be huddled down in my apartment for the weekend. So hopefully that will be not too boring. I'm one of those people that have to be just running and gunning and moving all the time, doing stuff like that. So... Sitting down for a little bit and confined in the apartment is going to be pretty rough. You guys will see me doing more videos over here in my living room. I've got a whole studio set up as well as, you guys know, my stream room. So we'll be doing some more videos here, just kind of doing a little daily talk or something. And kind of just talking about what's going on right now. Uh, California is fully on full lockdown as they say full lockdown you can still go to the grocery store you can still go to the gas station um they just don't want social gatherings over 10 people in size uh, no sports audiences um you can go to the hospitals any of the emergency services still will be open but just they're trying to limit how many people are out and about doing their different stuff. So they're kind of limiting on like gas stations, restaurants, or not so much restaurants, but takeout for restaurants. Um, I'm not so much sure about fast food, but I know like California is on their big kick. Tomorrow, Illinois has been fully released to go on full lockdown as well. So that's something that they're working on. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Oh, fuck, what time? What's the date? So tomorrow will be Saturday, March 21st at 5 p.m. is when they are talking about closing everything. Now, I don't know what that exactly consists of. I'm not trying to keep up with all of this stuff. I don't really care. 
I just kind of know I'm going to stick to myself and do what I do, do what I do best, and that's kind of just how it's going to go. I don't try to watch the news, I'm not on Facebook, looking at all the crap, because it's just all these people are going crazy talking about and trying to make it seem like it's so much worse than it really is, just like how the media does with gun control and showing how guns are bad, everything's bad for you. It's just absolutely crazy. So I've got all the food that I could ever need. I've got toilet paper. All of my hygiene products are good. All my guns are loaded. Everything's full of ammo. So, I mean, I've got everything that I need in case the shit hits the fan, if you would say. But it's just been it's weird times. I mean, this is something that I've never seen in my lifetime. I don't think anyone else I know has ever seen in their lifetime so it's been just one of those weird situations where like none of us really have been prepared or know what is going on or how this is going to work but it can't be that much that much longer I mean it's already been going for two weeks three weeks something like that I don't really know and like I said just stay off the media Stay off watching the news channels because they're just going to amp it up and try to scare everyone and put fear into your eyes and it's just not good. It's not good for your mental health. It's not good to try to learn all this stuff that is all fake and bullshit. And It's just the same thing they do with guns. I mean, one person gets killed with a gun and now guns kill people and guns are the worst thing ever and people are out doing protests about banning guns and... It's just unbelievable where reality people kill people. Guns aren't jumping off tables and opening safes to go kill their owners. So it's just one of those things. We're not going to get into the whole controversy and everything, but I just wanted to thank all of you new subscribers for hitting the button. And anyone who is watching the video now, if this is your first time, hit that little subscribe button, tick the bell so you know when my videos go live for you guys. It seems like lately all we're going to be doing is more talking and just kind of hanging out probably here in my living room studio but i really appreciate all of you guys for all the support you guys are all the best i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one peace